Hello everybody, you use K92 here for the raw review of May 16th, 2016. Uh, Uncharted 4 in the background, please enjoy. This game is awesome, everyone should buy it. Uh, and uh, raw was not that bad. It was a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to go through. It was the go home show, no extreme rules. So, as a go home show, it got me more excited between AJ versus Roman, which I guess is the job, but everything else is kind of okay. So, AJ Styles kicks off raw with a promo. Brings up his history, brings up how this is, he's not new to this, he's wrestled at the fucking Tokyo Dome over 60, 70,000 people, so this is not new. Roman comes out back and forth saying how he's the guy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the club comes out, you know, the sandwich. The club comes out, Usos come out, Roman hits AJ, club is holding him back, saying wait till Extreme Rules, AJ's going nuts. Which I like how AJ's finally like losing his mind little by little bit. So that was not bad. Uh, we got Cesaro vs. Sami Zayn. Uh, Miz and Owens on commentary. Kevin Owens is the fucking man. That man is hilarious on commentary. Uh, Owens tries to steal Miz's title. He steals the title. Miz and him go at it. They go in the ring. They get DQ'd. Everything's going fucking crazy. Shane comes out. Makes it a tag team match. He makes it Cesaro and Sami vs. Miz and Owens. Which is a, basically a fucking clone of the match we had on SmackDown. So I'm like, oh no. Steph comes out and makes it the odd team match with Sami Zayn and Owens versus Cesaro and Miz, which I like a lot. Just to see Owens and fucking Sami in a tag team again was pretty fucking awesome. If you watched our ROH history, Kevin Owens again on fire. The man is fucking hilarious. All the shit he says in the ring. Uh, Owens with a hot tag. Really good hot tag. The people got super in with Owens' hot tag. I did, too. He was going nuts. Cannonballs all around. Cesaro with a hot tag. Uppercuts all around. Uh, Cesaro tries to steal some of the Miz's offense. The Miz then goes for the Cesaro swing, but then Cesaro hits the skull-crushing finale on the Miz. Miz, uh, Sammy drops him the Yakuza kick for the win. Owens attacks Sammy after the match. Uh, this was actually a pretty entertaining segment slash match. I liked it. It's, uh, it's good to see the mid is getting a good build-up like this. That's the thing. You don't really see that that much. Next is the debuting The Shining Stars, which is Epico and Primo. They're with the former Matadores. Now they're debuting for this local talent. Because, you know, that's how you get people over. <laughs> local talent. <laughs> um, debut. Not actually bad. I legit thought this was going to be the biggest fucking failure I've ever seen in my life. I thought this was horrible. I'm not a big fan of either Epico and Primo at all. But this is actually not that bad. Even though I swear to God, it feels like Carlito got defused and he just transformed to Epico and Primo. That's all I think about. Because I'm just like, what the hell? It literally feels like that. Um, so yeah, not that they changed a lot of their offense. That was my biggest problem with these guys. Their moveset was so fucking boring. All they did was a bunch of code breakers and backbreakers the whole entire match. And all that old A bullshit. But now they actually had some, they had some good moves. Epico was on fire with his moveset. I like this whole, like, wheelbarrow, like, fucking double knees to the chest he did. I like the tripleta suplex that he did. This is really good shit. I like their finish, too. It's kind of like the Ascension's finish. But, you know, it's a lot. I like I like the way they do it more. It's really nice. They get the win. Uh, they cut a promo, you know. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rico stuff is kind of annoying, whatever. Like, but, again, they're doing their job, and it's winning me over. I actually think these guys should be a little entertaining. Now, and it's a new tag team. It's something different, so. Dean Ammon comes out with a promo, calls out Jericho. Jericho comes out, soak it in, man. So, again, yeah, the whole Jericho, um, uh, Ambrose Fruit is still going. Uh, this weird-looking, weird-ass cage comes out, uh, and apparently there's going to be such thing called an asylum match on a WWE Extreme Rules. It's the first ever asylum match, which I'm like, I guess someone was watching some old footage of TNA, because that's already a match. Uh, it's a cage, it's a dirty cage, with a bunch of, like, weapons stringed on top. There was another plant there, which made me fucking laugh. So this match could actually be pretty entertaining, because there's no escape. It's pin only, I guess. Pin or you just give up. So this match can be super entertaining. Next is Becky Lynch versus Dana Brooke. Again, uh, Becky Lynch keeps fighting Dana Brooke. Uh, Becky Lynch needs to get pushed a lot more than she is. She is a really, really fucking awesome talent and such a great baby face. Dana wins with a roll-up, though. Kind of a roll-up. She kind of, like, you know, reverses Becky and just, like, sits on her. And that's it. One, two, three. Which is good. How Dana Brooke kind of keeps getting lucky. So that's at least protects Becky Lynch a little bit. But they need to, like, make up their mind and start pushing Becky already. 
Uh, first official match, basically, they're saying, of the Golden Truth, even though the Golden Truth fought at a live event, I think, so, not the first official match, so, haha. So, Golden Truth versus Breeze Dango. Fuck that. They're called Febreze. I am calling them Febreze only. Febreze gets the win. Uh, Golden, uh, Go uh, Golden Truth are not happy. Febreze has the greatest tag team I've ever. New Day comes out and with a time machine. Uh, they go in there and they're going to try to go back in time to the Bod Villains time. They go back to 2009 where Kofi has his old Jamaican gimmick. He comes out with the theme music, the SOS. Kofi's like, no, I don't want to go back to 2009. It was my best year. <laughs> and I'm just like, where's the clip of Randy Orton going stupid in the background? That was awesome. I kind of wish they could have gone back in time where Biggie had the five gimmick too, but apparently they didn't do it. Uh, fucking, uh, Vault Villains attack. They beat the living shit out of the New Day. I really like how the Vault Villains are not saying much. They just basically do action. They just beat the crap out of them. I think that's really good. I think the Vault Villains are actually getting pushed pretty well. I actually would want to see them win. I really want to see them win at Extreme Rules. I, I feel like... Uh, but I don't know if they're gonna have the New Day beat that record by, uh, uh, Brian Kendrick and Paul London. Because they're the longest reigning tag team champions. But I feel like they're gonna have the New Day beat that record. But I really would like to see the Ball Villains win. Next match is the Club versus the Usos. The Club brings AJ in their corner. The Usos bring Roman. This is a very good match. Again, we don't have to see this match for the fifth time in a fucking row. The Club needs to be booked a lot times better. Like, I swear to God, when these guys were going to debut, I thought it was going to be fucking, like, the Nexus. Like, they were going to just kill people. But every time they debut, they're basically even with everyone they fight. Which they only fight the Usos, and it's fucking stupid. So fucking Usos win by splash. So fucking dumb. Super kick party in there. So I know the club is familiar with that. Uh, shouldn't have been pinned. I really hate that Carl Anderson is the one that keeps taking the pin. He is so freaking good and talented and underrated in there already. AJ finally snaps. Tries to hit Roman with a chair. Roman takes it out. Superman punches all around. Roman then hits AJ with the chair. Uh, Gallows comes in. Fucking, and AJ finally snapped. He starts beating the piss out of freaking Roman. Beating him with the chair over and over and over again. Hits a perfect Styles Clash on Roman on the chair. I'm so, I did not think they were going to let him hit this. I, I'm really surprised they let him hit a Styles Clash on Roman. So that was awesome to see. Big Cash versus Devon. Cash wins the East River Crossing. Not too much to say here. A lot of promos back and forth. Big Cash is, again, big fan of Big Cash. I like his promo ability. I think he's actually pretty entertaining. And he's pretty good in the ring. He's not bad. Del Rio versus Kalisto. Again, um, this match was kind of just out there. Rusev basically murdered Ciancaro backstage. It was actually really funny. This is how fucking Rusev needs to be booked. He kills Ciancaro, drags him down there, starts killing him in front of him. Del Rio makes him watch. Del Rio rips Kalisto's dragon tail off his mask and starts putting it in his mouth and playing around with it. I thought that was really funny. Del Rio wins with a fucking awesome looking backstabber fucking Kalisto bounces off his knees with five feet in the air it looked amazing and that is how you book Rusev it's not that hard to book a monster he fucking comes out he kills people and I swear to god I am like crap I want Rusev to win I actually didn't want Rusev to win I wanted someone else to beat Kalisto but fuck it that's how you book Rusev and then he bends Kalisto in half with the accolade. Sick looking spot, by the way. I hope he does it like that when he gets pissed off. How you know Jericho does the lion tamer if you piss him off. Uh, Steph and Shane come out. Rick, uh, Rick Flair comes out. They're basically doing the contract signing. Charlotte and Natty comes out. Girls go back and forth. Natty doesn't know what happened to Charlotte. Charlotte's like, whatever, I don't care. I got the title. That's all that matters. Fucking stipulation is added where Rick can't even come to the ramp or Charlotte forfeits the title and he's the champion. Rick wants to fight with Shane, which I actually would not mind seeing right there and then. Shane's like gearing up. He's just like, don't, don't make me do this. Uh, I thought that was awesome. Steph is like, no, don't beat up Rick. I'll do it because I don't respect him. Steph slaps the living piss out of Rick Flair. Like, I mean, damn. That was awesome. Natty then locks in Charlotte in the sharpshooter, and that's it. I'm really cool that the girls got the last segment. Again, this storyline is kind of a filler storyline, but it's been getting a lot of attention, which I like. So that was Raw. Again, not that bad. Kept my attention. 
Um, stuff with the club pissed me off big time, especially Carl Anderson getting pissed, but that's just me. Uh, definitely, I know it's not going to happen, but I would love to see them put the title on AJ. I would put the title on AJ, and you can have Roman say, oh, you got lucky. Roman gets it back in a month, and then guess who comes back in a month? The fucking man, Seth Rollins. We got Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns at fucking SummerSlam. We could even make it a triple threat match. So AJ Styles versus fucking Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns. Imagine that shit. So, that's it for me. I'll catch you next time. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and peace out. Sorry. No, it was Valiant. It was I was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. We agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't but seen him Elena, in about two years. Look, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Just stop, I'll do them. No, hold you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me um, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet?